Hey everyone, new Monday, new you don't know Jack. Now someone decided to tip me off and tell me that the wrong answer of the day is in question two, so that's going to kill some of the suspense for some of you, I'm sure. But it is in question two this time. So let's go with Salvador's Unnecessary Animal Hybrids. We're going in 30 seconds. Oh, hi. I'm Donnie. I need to know how many people would like to parfait in our little game. Parfait. One player. Okay. This should be a Febreze. Enter your name for me, if you please. No. Is that supposed to be a political statement? I'll take it from here. Now your name is Skeet. Skeet. Perfect. I'll take that. Allow me to give you the instructionalizations. <laughs> You will see a question. When you know the answer in serpitude, select the boutonniere next to it. There is a timer, so the sooner you buzz in, the more Sumerians you will make. <laughs> or surrender. Okay, you're ready on set. Ten seconds. Best fishes. Give me a monkey check. Ah, go to black. I love monkeys. In your coffin. <laughs> Hello there, this is Kevin Spacey doing an incredible Cookie Masterson impression. Wow, a celebrity you don't know, Jack. No friends, huh? Would you just get out of prison? <laughs> and our wrong answer no. of the game is sponsored by... Salvador's Unnecessary Animal Hybrids. Giraffe frogs and rhinoceros on sale now. Sniff so out our sponsor's Manticore, wrong answer of the game and you'll Griffin, end up with a great prize and Camara. serious cash. <laughs> Something along those okay, lines, huh? Okay, what are we waiting for? Clapper doodle. Right off the bat, I'm forever in blue, Gene. Hey, you ever have anyone look at your unzipped zipper and tell you in super secret code X Y Z? You know, examine your zipper. Well, suppose Wrangler yeah. came out with mom gene genes, inspired by the human female chromosome. How would you tell your mom to examine her mom gene gene zipper? XXZ, XYZ, YYZ, or YXZ? Yeah, double X. Female genes are identified with an XX chromosome <clears throat> pair. And for the record, these genes with the stretch waist are unisex. So everybody stop with the snickering! Oh. Try this on for size. Doctor Person, Medicine you. Person. Which of these doctors might be called if the ghost of Doc Holliday were haunting a Wild West ghost town? Eat. Dr. Zhivago, Dr. Venkman, Dr. Faustus, or Dr. Moreau? Okay, Dr. Moreau was the one that put animals together. Let me show you something. Dr. Venkman is one of the main characters in Ghostbusters. Yes. You could also call TV's The Ghost Hunters, TV's The Ghost Whisperer, or of course, TV's Scooby-Doo. I no, do a Scooby-Doo myself. Lived on an island full of interesting animal hybrids like a hyena swine and a leopard man. <laughs> and you know what else is an interesting animal hybrid? A pinguote. Just like the one you just won hey, from what? Salvador's Unnecessary King, Animal Hybrids. King, whoa. Salvador's Unnecessary Animal King, Hybrids. Okay. Turning yeah. necessary animals into superfluous freaks since 1934. This wrong answer of the game has earned you $4,000. Don't spend too. it all in one place. Again, where are they located? They might have worked for you know, Germany or something. I don't know. Next. Oh, the places you'll go. And yeah, it's a this or that. <laughs> I'm going to throw out seven names, and for each one, I want you to tell me if it's a drug used to control urine flow or a Dr. Seuss character. If it's a P drug, press one. If it's from Dr. Seuss, Press two. Right answers. Will I'm so bring glad you there's no bolts here. Ham. But miss an answer and you'll start pissing your winnings away. Let's put 30 seconds on the clock. Okay, let's move. Euromax. Lorax. Flomax. Flummox. Rapid Flow. Max. Ring one. Oh, God. I didn't mean to hit that one. You got most of it. Darn it. Just a couple of drops in your pants. I think I may need to see a doctor because lately my trips to the bathroom are one piss, two piss, red piss, blue piss. Yeah, the later half of that I would 
I would take worry a good about. look at Lather Prince repeat. Hey, you see Jake Gillen, Jill Guile? You see him in Prince of Persia? Is he hot or what? No, I oh didn't God, see that. Did I say that out loud? What would Prince of Persia be called if it were updated to reflect contemporary geography? Prince of Turkey, Prince of Thailand, Prince of India, or Prince of Iran? Iran. Iran used to be Persia. That was right around the same time the U.S. invaded Persia to seize their stockpile of flying carpets in Operation Desert Shag. Where's the bomb, girl? Introduce into thin hair. Being trapped on the top floor of which of these buildings would cause Rapunzel to grow her hair out the longest? Empire State Building in New York City, Willis Tower in Chicago, Petronas Towers in Kuala Lumpur, or Transamerica Pyramid in San Francisco. I don't know about number. Th I don't know which one's actually tallest. We'll go with the Empire State. Watch it. Nope. Smart people choose this. Formerly known as the Sears Tower, Willis Tower's top floor is the highest of these four buildings, not counting architectural spires and antennas. And Rapunzel grew her hair out the window all the way to ground huh. level so some stud could climb up it and save her. Huh. I guess she prefers a muscular guy over somebody smart enough to tower. take the elevator. Huh. Round one is in okay. the books. And you've got a pretty nice score. It's a shame there's nobody here to share it with. Remember, in round two, every question is worth double. Let's see what's in store. Next up, oh, Field of this. Presidents. I love baseball nicknames. A-Rod plays for the Yankees, K-Rod plays for the Mets, and Jay Hay plays for the Braves. Okay, suppose the Washington Nationals wanted to put together a dream team of U.S. presidents, numbering them according to their oh order Lord. in office. Which president would wear number three? T. Jeff, J. Mads, A. Jax, or Z. Tay? Uh, no, no. I think it was Madison, wasn't it? Madison or Jefferson? We'll go Jefferson. T. Jeff, or Thomas Jefferson, was the third U.S. president. Okay. Poor guy lived a century too early. Can you imagine the perks of being the real Thomas Jefferson on nickel beer night? Hey, hey, give me a beer, will ya? Oh, oh, you wanna see a nickel? Check out the face, buddy. See that? I am the nickel. Booyah! Question seven. Let's try. I've got some film in my throat. Which singer's name does not appear in the title of a Best Picture Oscar winner? Prince, Eve, Sting, or Tom Jones? Huh. Has there ever been a Best Picture with Prince or Sting? Uh, Sting, yeah. Prince? All About Eve, The Sting, and Tom Jones are all titles of Best Picture winners, but no Best Picture winner has ever had Prince in the title. <laughs> Perhaps less surprisingly, no Best Picture winner has ever actually had Prince in it. Oh, didn't chicken pick it yeah, that, me. that's significantly less surprising. Guess I'll marry eight. Take a stab at saying for the birds is for the birds. So I agreed to take care of an ex coworker's ridiculous gimmick time. Again. I don't know why I do this. I don't even like the guy or the parrot. This thing will eat anything, like wood chips and trash from the street. Hey, pretty bird, why don't you try eating some of Uncle Cookie's extra hot chili? Ah! Polly want a cracker! Polly want a cracker! Oh, crap, I don't have any crackers. Since I don't have any crackers, what should Polly ask for to help stop the intense burning no sensation? Gimmick, huh? Polly nope. want a water! Polly want more jelly! Polly want a milk! Or Polly want a beer! Probably enjoy the beer more, but milk kills. <laughs> Cold milk is the most effective remedy for a burning mouth because it contains casein, which washes away capsaicin, the active component in chili peppers. The only problem is I think Polly's lactose intolerant. Oh, Polly, open a window! <laughs> I'd call that I'd call that uh, adequate revenge. Here we have never too young to party backstage. 
Who is the only one legally able to drive home after hosting Saturday Night Live for the first time? Lindsay Lohan, Macaulay Culkin, Jodie Foster, or Drew Barrymore? Uh, Jodie Foster, I believe. No, she no? was the youngest person ever to host the show at was age she? 14. And since that was in 1976, wow. if you just do the math here, that would make Jodie Foster about 226 years old right now. Woo! Can't I'll argue go with, with the math. math. That's old. But she looks pretty good for her age. <laughs> now pay attention. Lindsay Lohan was 17 years old at the time of taping, thus able to drive herself home. Well, hmm. let's let's be honest. Is she ever really able to drive herself home? Hold me, never let me go. Good question. <laughs> this one's called Obliging Mary J. If Mary J. Blige only traveled by bilge while touring, what would a concert venue need to be equipped with in order to receive her? A rooftop landing pad, port access, a train depot, or a wormhole? Yeah, bilge is a type of ship. A bilge is the lowest section of a ship's hull, so she's traveling by boat. And if there's one thing I know about Mary J. Blige... Actually, I don't know anything about Mary J. Blige. I said types, didn't I? Don't. Brace yourself for the attack. When you see two clues that match, press one. Four thousand bucks if you're right, but if you're wrong, you lose four thousand. And don't forget, remember the clue. It's gotta be a match that fits this clue. Dog bless us, everyone. What kind of dog are you? Good luck. We're bored. Snoopy, Beagle, Beagle, where's a Beagle? Jack Shepard, funny though. No, I think right there. Beagle? I uh, won't well, no. Santa's little helper. Beethoven. Saint Bernard. Scooby, where's the Great Dane? No Labradoodle would be funny if Scooby Doo were one of them. Lassie, good old Collies. Lassie the Bounty Hunter. Target mascot? Um, Jack Russell Terrier, I believe. No? It's a Bull Terrier, I guess. Okay, that's a Chihuahua. Right then. I guess it's a bull terrier then. Yep. Not bad. That's all she wrote! I'm actually impressed, and I have to say, I'm not easily impressed. Although one time I did see a dog that could play the kazoo. Let me tell ya, I was pretty impressed. Okay, now that I think about it, I, I am easily impressed. Nice work, folks. Donnie, what's going on? Okay, keep me a piece if you'd like to engage in another tourniquet of wits. Oh, hey -ya, hey -ya, as he said, hey there you have you it, folks. Like this has been another week, so another field. episode of You Don't Know Jack. I'll see everyone. I'll see everyone again next week, or if you're watching vest, Dragon Age Awakening tomorrow and later it. today, or so come shop earlier today, depending on you know. We are the country's leading how you view these things. Anyway, see everyone later, and I leave you all with the commercials. Bye, folks. Come to Fashion Fistas. Meet Timmy. He's just like you or me. He likes to listen to music, play, make friends. The only difference is Timmy doesn't have a mother or father. Timmy's an orphan. Hi, I'm Timmy. Uh, Tim. My parents died in a tragic car accident when I was just 42. In retrospect, maybe I wasn't in any condition to drive. <laughs> anyway, uh, will you be my new mommy or daddy? I promise to be a good son. I'll keep my room clean and eat all my vegetables. Except for lima beans. Those things give me horrendous farts. Uh, I'll need a car. And it'd be great if you had an extra room or a 
basement for my drums. There are thousands of Timmy's out there just waiting to find their forever home. If you are ready to start a new-ish family, call the It's Never Too Late Adult Orphanage because grown-ups are children too. Whatever happened to Hootie and the Blowfish? Find out tonight. Guten Tag, I am Pope Benedict XVI. When I enter a church, I always reach for the basin of holy water as a gesture of symbolic cleansing. But when I enter a gymnasium to either get my elliptical on or just a whale on my rock-hard abs, I reach for a bottle of vitamin holy water. <laughs> Vitamin holy water replenishes my electrolytes while giving me godlike strength for higher reps and an even higher calling. It's sacred, refreshing, and loaded with vitamin G. This traffic is terrible. I wish there was some way to escape. Now there is. Where did you come from? You can escape reality altogether. Sounds nice, but how? Easy. Start interpreting all the road signs as if they're secret messages to you, or just obsess over the number five. Wow, there are a lot of number fives on these license plates. What could that mean? See that old lady over there in the blue Honda? Get out of your car and start yelling at her. Why? She looks so sweet. I don't know. Maybe she's a demon. And she's probably trying to stop me from getting my messages to the president. Now you're getting it. Thanks, Magical Pixie. I'm not even here. That's how good you're doing. Insanity. If you lived here, you'd be a giant duck already. This Monday, catch the season six premiere of Farting with the Stars. And this season, we've got our most star-studded cast ever. C, Helen Hunt, Jim Caviezel, Leonard Nimoy, the guy from that one medical show, and the girl from that movie with the guy from Scrubs. It's gonna be big, it's gonna be hot, and it's not gonna smell good. It's Farting with the Stars, where the only thing louder will be the roar of the crowd. Monday at, whoop, excuse me, Monday at seven, be there. Celebrity Farts Impersonated. Hey, buddy. Hey, Jordan. Happy birthday. I know I usually forget to buy you anything, but this year I got you something from the cloud registry. The cloud registry? What's that? I got a cloud named after you. Oh. And it comes with a certificate of authentication that I printed out on my dot matrix printer. So which cloud is mine? What's that? Which cloud is... <laughs> <laughs> 